गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड वेल टाइम राइट नाउ इज एट ओ वन इन द मॉर्निंग एंड इट इज ट्वेल्थ ऑफ जून टूडे एंड टूडे वी आर ऑल सेट टू लीव फॉर आर नेक्स्ट डेस्टिनेशन विच इज गोइंग टू बी ले सो राइट नाउ वी आर इन साचू इफ यू कैन सी बिहाइंड मी दीज वर द कैम्प वी आर वी वर स्टेइंग एंड राइट नाउ वी आर ऑल सेट टू लीव फॉर ले सो लेट मी गिव यू द ब्रीफ आइट नदी सो द डिस्टेंस for today is going to be 250 kilometers uh, let's say 260 out kilometers and the ride duration will be 9 or 10 um, hours and the elevation at altitude of lay will be 3524 meters so yesterday we came here and um, the oxygen level was not that great so we had a little bit of headache but as of now we are all set and we are all feeling fresh so we had a breakfast and right now uh, we are just packing our bags and then we're going to set from here to lay we also do not have any uh, signal reception or any uh, internet over here so if you are in sachu you should be aware of this that if you want to use your internet or even your mobile signals you won't be able to use that if you want to use that then you have to go up till 8 kilometers from sachu where you will get mobile signals so yesterday we went up till 8 kilometers to call our families and then we came back and we spent the night over here it was a beautiful stay to be very honest and the view is actually really beautiful uh let me show you the view first i know gopro will not be able to do the justice but just look at this man how can you not fall in love with this so as of now um we're going to get saddled up on the bike and start from here by the way we clicked really beautiful pictures yesterday um, over there behind me and we uh, rode by bike over there as well so if you want to see all those pictures you know where to head to the link is in the description below of my instagram so do check it out follow me over there because there you will get all the latest updates uh, where i'm traveling or whatever i'm doing so yeah with that said Let's get back on the bike and start from here and I'll meet you on the road. This is your captain speaking. All right boys. So today is going to be the longest journey of our trip. 270 odd kilometers and 9 or 10 odd hours ride. And on top of that, there's going to be a lot of water crossings and everything. So it's going to be a little bit challenging but at the same time the most memorable ride so far so hell excited today let's wish everything goes well and we are safely in le that is going to be our destination so let's continue on the ride and enjoy the beautiful scenery you guys also enjoy the beautiful scenery all right boys just a quick update uh this is a check post at sarchu so once you exit sarchu you have to give your name and details and contact number your bike uh, bike number everything uh, to the locals over here the officials over here uh it's just for the record so there is no need to have a permit over here but you actually need to provide your information and you should have a uh, identity card handy with you so even if they ask you you're all set so yeah Again let's continue towards the right and I'll see you guys in a short while
solid voice so we are right now riding on the gata loops and this is i believe 21 hairpin vents if i'm not wrong so i have only seen this in pictures but right now to be riding on this road oh boy boy what can i say in the pictures uh, these look really clean but right now the roads are not that clean but anyways these are gata loops Just imagine, you are riding on the Gata Loops, which is beautiful 21 hairpin vents, and you are having the most fun ever. And then you come across a hairpin vent where you see this. Come on, man! Come on. No animal on earth can do this other than human. Pathetic. People come here. to enjoy the scenery and then you see all this bullshit so the story of gata loops starts here tale of a trucker who died on the gata loops when i was traveling through gata loops and i saw a big pile of water bottles it really upset me but it also struck me that why would people throw bottles at that very specific spot found out the story of a trucker who died at that very specific spot several years ago There were two guys, one driver and one cleaner, who were traveling through Gata Loops when their truck broke down. Unfortunately, the weather closed in and it started snowing heavily. While the driver was away to find some mechanic in the nearby village, the cleaner was with the truck to protect the cargo. But unfortunately, it took several days for the weather to clear, and people from the nearby village rushed back to the site, only to find out that the cleaner was dead. out of thirst hunger and cold so the villagers buried him at that very specific spot but since then several people who have traveled through gata loops have noticed a beggar stopping vehicles and asking for water the ones who stop to offer water say that they have seen the water bottle falling right through his hands and that is how the word spread out and sure enough people were scared of the ghost who begged for water thinking that it might harm them if they stop or curse them if they didn't in order to pacify the ghost the locals set up a small temple at the spot where he was buried and made offerings of water and since then whoever passes by and is aware of the story leaves some water at the temple as an offering all right boys so we have a small breakdown you see this off road patch few of our group members were trying to come up through this off road patch and this interceptor fell down and something is broke so i'm taking my toolkit to see and assess the damage what is the damage and let's see if it's fixable or not the row chain number diya ਕਿੱਥੋਂ नीचे डाल देंगे कोई दिक्कत तो वाली गल नहीं अब तो लंबे रास्ते जा रहे हैं ऑल द ग्रुप मेंबर्स आर हेल्पिंग सो वेट अप बैक रखो जा के करो चलो दीदी का लोग बैक करो बैक करो अरे बैक करो साइड में जाना
ਕਲੱਚ ਛੱਡ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਕਲੱਚ ਛੱਡ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਕਲੱਚ ਛੱਡ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਇੱਕ ਕੰਮ ਕਰੋ ਇੱਥੋਂ ਹੀ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਧੀਰ ਧੀਰ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਓ ਮੋੜ ਲਓ ਤੇ ਲੰਬੇ ਰਸਤੇ ਆ ਜਾਓ ਇੱਥੋਂ ਦੀ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਓਗੇ ਕਲੱਚ ਛੱਡ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਰੋ ਬੈਠ ਕੇ ਤਣਾ ਲਓ ਚੜ ਜਾਏਗੀ ਆਰਾਮ ਸੇ ਚੜੇ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਸਰ ਕਲੱਚ ਕਲੱਚ ਬੋਨ ਹੋ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਕੋਈ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਕੀ ਬਾਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ and it's done all right perfect all right so let me pack my tool kit and we start from here once everyone is feeling good ah All right boys. You see that? We have done it. We are finally at the Tanglang La Pass. Altitude of 70,008 70,582 feet from the sea level. And boy oh boy. What an achievement. Now the first rule of business is to click some pictures and the second is to refill the bike because the bike only has two points and i have still more 120 odd kilometers to go up till lay i have five liter of fuel, spare fuel with me so i'm going to fill that and continue with the ride so let me first take some pictures and i'll see you guys back on the road in a short while
This is for all of you. You're most welcome. Ha ha, sure. All right, boys. Time for a quick update. Right now, we are at the village Gaya, and we stopped here just for a water break. And these kids just got fascinated by my Ronin. <laughs> this brings a smile on my face. Anyways, Leh is almost 60 odd kilometers from here, and we're gonna continue our ride from here and keep the momentum up and reach Leh. That is when we're gonna take a proper break and have some food. Either how? Hi, Boldo Ekbari. So these are beautiful kids of village Gaya. Gaya village na ye? ठीक है. मैं ये वीडियो डालूँगा YouTube पे. आप सब आओगे उसमें, ठीक है? ठीक है. Okay. Bye. Nice meeting you. Okay, boys. So let's start from here and continue with the ride. All right, boys. We are here. We are in Leh Ladakh. The time right now is 7:30 in the evening. And we started at around same time in the morning, so almost 12 hour ride. It's been one hell of a ride, but I enjoyed it a lot. And also, I'm hell tired right now, so I'm gonna go get a quick shower because there are a few things that I wanna get done on the bike. I wanna get it serviced to continue with the next adventure. I do not wanna stress the engine on the bike that much. So I know a workshop in Leh who works on KTM bikes, so I'm gonna freshen up. Take the bike to the lay workshop and get it uh, serviced, and yeah, also have some food because I'm starving. Also, this video is getting a bit longer, so I do not want to bore you guys with the random course that I do. If I find something, then uh, I will definitely put this in the in the video. But that's all about this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it because I certainly did. There are a lot more things coming our way, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'm gonna close this video right here, right now. And yeah, as always, let nothing hold you back in life, and always, always keep moving forward. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Last but not least, I want to thank me. <laughs>